Okay, the last thing that we're going to look at is my list. You can create lists in Destiny, um, and let me show you how to do that. So, let's look at this book, The Runaway Rice Cake. If I wanted this book, and I wanted to um, print out a list of the title of the book and the call number of the book, I just can go right here and go Add to List. Okay, and now it's in my list. Um, another way that I can do it is um, I can do a search. So let me do a search on dogs. And if I wanted this book, I could just drag it into my list. And maybe I want maybe I want this book too. All right. So now I have three titles in my list. To see my list, I have to click on My Info. And there's my list. Now here's what's cool about this. I can print this list. If I click on Print Options, I have a choice of printing a list of the books, and I can print them in different orders. I would suggest leave it at call number and author because you'll need to see that call number to find the book on the shelf I don't really need to see the notes on what the book is about, so I'm going to unclick that and I'm going to click on Print Preview. And here is the list of the books that I wanted. Okay. Another option that I have is to click a citation list. So let's say you had to do um, um, a report for your teacher and your teacher said and I want a citation list also known as a bibliography at the end of your report and as you know a citation list is a list of all the resources you used for your research so again I go to print options but this time I'm going to click this link MLA citation list and if I go to print preview here it is it's in perfect order just the way a citation list should be and has all the elements. I can just print this and I'm all set. Um, let me just go back one second. Now if when I'm looking at my list I decide, oh, you know, this book has nothing to do with dogs. I don't need it. I can take it off my list. Just click that X and it's gone. If you are going to print your list, make sure that you do it um, right after you're done making it because it, the um, Destiny Quest will not save your list, okay? That is because students do not log in. Students do not have a login. So every time you're looking at Destiny Quest, you're looking at it like a guest. Only um, teachers who have logins can actually save their lists. And they can even make them public for you to see just as I did over here. So what I'd like you to do now is use Destiny Quest, search for up to three books that you want to take out today, make a list, print out your list, and go ahead into the library, find the books that you want, and check them out. Good luck!